This video is supposed to be bonus footage uh, for a video that I haven't uploaded yet. I did film it. It didn't work. A little bit of a miscalculation on my part. I am gonna finish that video and I'll upload it, try to link these up. To bring you up to speed, this was my prototype air cannon. It's got a three inch diameter chamber. It's about two and a half feet long or so. None of this is pressure rated. And I realized I wanted to have that ability to go higher PSI, but also a lot more volume. So this is what I wound up with. This is all pressure rated to about 220 PSI, even though I don't go that high with it. It's still three inch diameter chamber, but now it's 14 feet long. It now moves a lot of air at 300 miles an hour. If you feel like this is a little derivative of Smarter Every Day, to be fair, his is very good, and my sweet spot's right on that cusp of mediocrity, so I feel like I'm creating a fair distinction between the two of us. Inner diameter of the barrel is about an inch and a half, which you guys saw it shoot a ping pong ball. This is an inch and a half. It fits really snug. Ah, no. This solid steel ball is supposed to be an inch and a half, but it's really loose. This is what we're gonna be shooting today, but to make it fit snugly, I've cut a few of these ping pong balls open, stuck the steel ball inside of it. And now, first victim is this rotten watermelon. Aim's gonna be a little critical. This is very springy, and I don't want it to, uh, it's my redneck laser pointer. This is the adrenaline part of the videos where I get real nervous. Excited nervous, but nervous. GoPro lives. Oh man. Everywhere, carnage. So it sounded like it hit this metal fence, which is about, uh, about 50 yards away. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Uh, for the second, we're gonna hit something a little bit harder. This is a, a floor tile from my bathroom. Don't tell Sarah. <laughs> Didn't hit the car. That was a pretty good shot. That ball is gone. It just gone. Uh, up next two by four and I've improved my mounting system a little bit. By the way, this steel ball at 300 miles an hour should be giving us about 10,000 pounds of force. Wow, it was like this tall, wasn't it? Diamond plate. We're up to about eight bar on this one. It's gonna be really loud. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I think I got one more thing to hang on the wall. Last thing I wanna shoot is, is this brick. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's made out of brick material. I don't know if the ball will break it or if it'll just ricochet somewhere scary. To properly expose the high speed, I need to be in direct sunlight. I also need the cannon to be close to whatever I'm shooting, but I'm using the building to manage the recoil. And I've already dented it. I want this last one to be, so um, we're just, just readjusting. I'm kind of scared for this one. Oh. oh my gosh, that was scary. Where's my GoPro? Yeah. 
It's got a very James Cameron look to it. This little more looked like the ball hit and then deflected. I really hope it didn't hit the building. Oh, excellent. I didn't get hurt, I didn't die, um, and everything worked. That's what success looks like on this channel. We can totally recreate this. There we go. All right, I'm out of balls, so this feels like a good place to stop. Thanks for watching bonus footage that really wasn't bonus footage at all.